Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I am an employment attorney and we are answering publicly posted questions from YouTube users, getting the folks the answers they need from an employment attorney. Uh, if this is helpful, like and subscribe, comment down below. It helps me to help more people like you. And uh, remember, everyone works. Not everyone wins. I got all this stuff out of the way at the start. They told me I couldn't do it, but I did it. Okay, um, real quick note today. This is um, this is a constant issue that I see. We're going to talk about nepotism and how it is different from discrimination. <clears throat> so nepotism is going to be um, giving workplace benefits to your loved ones, your your family, your your partner, your spouse, your uh, dating person, whoever that might be, your friends, your buddies, your pals. Generally, it's just saying, uh, you're my buddy, so I'm going to give you things. Or I care about you, so I'm going to give you things. That is nepotism. And in many jurisdictions, nepotism is legal in most jobs. That is, it's a lot of a lot of qualifiers there, right? So what you're going to find in a lot of jurisdictions is that nepotism is not allowed in civil service jobs. It might not be allowed in like um, police forces, fire departments to some extent, um, teachers, you know, within, within public teaching. Um, you know, th these are areas where nepotism might be illegal. <sighs> not always. So, you know, check with local attorneys, check with local counsel, see what your rules are. <clears throat> where you are, but in most jurisdictions, you're going to find that in at-will employment, so just regular employment, working, working your normal job, hourly or salary, not in a union, um, in those jobs, there's a very good chance that nepotism is just allowed, right? Like you can go to your boss and say, hey, I am really angry. You hired your sister to be my manager, and I don't think you should have done that. And I think the only reason you hired her is because she's your sister. And your boss can be like, well, yeah, yeah, gave my sister a job. And it's not a claim. In many jurisdictions, in many jobs. Check with local counsel about your specific job and your specific jurisdiction, right? But in most of the country, nepotism is not actionable in most jobs. <sighs> Discrimination is targeting someone for a negative workplace consequence on the basis of their protected class, right? We've defined this a couple times. We have a lot of videos in the channel kind of going through many of the common protected classes. There's more or less depending on where you are. And so, you know, check again with local counsel to make sure that you know all the protected classes that are in play where you are. But we made a general list of what the protected classes are and, you know, kind of define discrimination for you. So that those videos exist on the channel. You can watch those. But the idea with discrimination is if you're in a protected class, that is, let's say, federally protected, then that is going to be something where if you're targeted on that basis, you are protected in all 50 states. All the jobs can't get away from it. If you're working and you're targeted on a federally protected, protected class, then that is a claim everywhere in this somewhat good nation of ours. Um, so... That is the difference there. Now, I'll add a third category. Sometimes people just don't like you personally, right? And, and somebody will be describing what was done to them in the workplace and will say, okay, so is, you know, do you think this is discrimination? Do you think there might could be nepotism here? Or is this a personal issue? Are they just not like you? And um, if it's a personal issue, Excuse me, there is a very good chance in most jurisdictions, in most jobs, that that will be legal. Obviously, always check with local counsel about your jurisdiction and your specific job. You might have union rights, you might have civil service rights, you might have tenure rights. There's a lot of things that could protect you in those scenarios. But generally speaking, in terms of at-will employment, if you're being targeted because someone says, you as a person, the choices you make, your personality, I do not like, that will oftentimes be legal, right? Example... I'll give you three examples. I walk into work tomorrow. My boss says, Vince, um, 
Can I have my brother take your job doing the YouTubes? Okay. What does that mean for me? means you're done. Get out. Okay. In uh, New York State, and I believe in New Hampshire as well, that would be illegal, right? Why are you doing it? Because he's my brother. Okay. Now, um, let's say I, I walk into work tomorrow and uh, boss says, listen, Vince, you... You look like you might be Irish, and I can't stand those drunk SOBs. You're done here. Well, that's discrimination. We've got a couple different protected classes. There's a perceived national origin. There's a perceived race. There's there's a couple different things going on there, right? So that's that's going to be potentially discrimination. Third example is I walk in and I say, well, actually, I walk in. Boss says, um, Vince, you're a rude son of a bitch. I think you're dumb. Can't stand talking to you. I personally do not like you for you. Not because of your race, not because of any protected class. Just you specifically, the choices you make, the way you as a human being, individual, live your life makes me want to vomit. Legal. Yeah, that's legal. You can just not like someone. I'm not in a union. I don't have civil service rights. I don't have tenure. I, you know, if I'm in that scenario, an at-will employee, that's going to be legal, right? So these are three examples to kind of differentiate between nepotism, discrimination, and uh, just personal animus, just a personal problem, personal issue, right? I hope this clears some things up for folks. I hope this is helpful. Um, Always check with local counsel and, uh, you know, Like and subscribe. Take care.